nothing change. Anyway, all right. First question, Diet Coke. Uh, Diet Coke and Sprite Zero, anything diet. Um, I was raised on diet just because I had ADHD as a kid and my parents didn't want me being hyper because I was a pain in the ass. So yeah. And second question, favorite food? Italian. And anything from Taco Bell. Love me some Taco Bell. Don't eat Italian out that often, but I do like it. What is my favorite dessert? Ice cream. I like ice cream. Pretty handy. My favorite restaurant? I have too many. That's mean. Why do you why do you gotta do this to me? Cattlemen's. Ted's. On the border. Olive Garden. Taco Bell. Is that any reoccurring thing here? I think that goes along from the video that I uploaded earlier or yesterday or today or whatever. I don't know if I'm doing this. Favorite horror movie? Eight films to die for. Those are my favorite horror movies. Um, hopefully I can find a Google image and put it up. But yes, the eight films to die for. I really like those. Um, I actually had a friend show me them in my sophomore, junior year, or senior year of high school. Y'all are going to have to deal with this lighting thing. I don't know what's going on with this stupid light. Who's my favorite singer? I have too many to count. Right now, I'm currently on some electronica kick, uh, dubstep, whatever. I don't know. I'm listening to Porter Robinson right now. Um, I always had a favorite, David Bowie. I, I'm still sad about him to this day, and I was upset about him for a long time. Long time. Um, favorite actor? Tom Hiddleston. Hiddleston. I can't ever say his last name, but I love Tom Hiddleston. Um, absolutely adore him. Always have. I think he's a gentleman. Don't ask me why I think he's handsome. Yeah, I know his face is weird. Just like Benedict Cumberbatch. I can say that last name, but I can't say that one. Help me. Favorite actress. Oh. I don't know. I admire a lot of them. There's too many to too many to count. Kind of I guess, yeah. Favorite television show. Oh. Simpsons. Simpsons. Family Guy. South Park. Love them all. Grew up watching Simpsons. I grew up ever since I was probably before I was born. Freaking and my mom's belly listening to it. I mean, come on, who wasn't? I was always, I was always watching that crap. Do I prefer to wear a one-piece or two-piece? I prefer to wear a one-piece currently because I always was a little bit thicker. I've weighed probably one, not heavy. I was never heavy. I was just always a little thicker. I was a little shorter. I had a little bit of a wider set. I have wider set hips and wider set shoulders. So I always I weighed about 158. And now, I, now I'm down to 135. So it's weird for me to be able to consider wearing a not a string bikini. I don't ever wear string bikinis. I have to wear halter tops and skirts. Never want to wear a string bikini. It's just not my thing. Um, it's a one piece. Very nice, sexy, low cut one piece uh, for the most part right now. I guess it depends. I don't know. I like both. 
I haven't worn a two-piece bathing suit in a very, very long time. I always wear t-shirts over them because I'm self-conscious, or I was, and I still am, I guess. I don't know. It's hard being in the body that I've, I've, I've lost weight, and I just, I don't know. I am a fan of pro wrestling if I am there. Um, on TV? Nope. I will watch any sport if I'm there. I can get into probably almost any sport if I'm there. Physically, at the game. But if I'm watching it on TV, nope. Never. Never. Have I ever gone skinny dipping? Yes. In an old farmer's pond with my best friend. It was up in the woods. We had no idea who it belonged to. Um, I'm surprised we didn't die because of all the scum and nasty crap in there. The pond was blue. Green. Blue green. And we left our bathing suits on tree branches. That was not the only time I gone skinny dipping, but that's the one time that sticks out of my head. Were you ever dared to do something extreme? I was dared to pull five pubic hairs. And that is the worst dare I have ever been dared to do. And I've been dared to run around in my backyard in my bra and panties and yell, I love hot dogs. And I did it just fine. But that person who, that was the same girl who I went down into the a storm drain with and the um, from my first kiss story and the one from the Indian flute story the shitty flute story you know who you are if you ever see this I doubt you will but that was one of the most painful dares I've ever done what was my biggest thrill zip lining Do I have any hidden talents? These. I can paint. Um, sing. It's crowded in worship today. As she slips in, trying to fade into the face. You're my God, you're all together lovely, all together worthy, all together wonderful to me. I'll never know how much it And then I did a little bit of color guard. What was I afraid of whenever I was a kid? The dark in the toilet. <laughs> you can't even read that. I have a shower speaker. Specifically for stuff like that. Where I sing in the shower. Yep. Have I ever gone tanning? Yes. I don't anymore because I want to take care of my skin and I feel like um, I'll kind of mess it up if I keep on continuing to go tanning. Please don't kill me for my grammar. Um, but yes, I feel like I feel like um, going tanning would kill my skin. So no, I don't tan anymore. But I used to. Have I ever slept naked? Yes. It was very enjoyable. Moving on. Have I ever had a near-death experience? Do you mean dying? Do you mean dying and coming back to life? Or 
being close to dying because I think a few weeks, months ago I got into a car accident. Um, just a few months ago I actually wrecked my car, insert here, uh, hydroplaned into oncoming traffic. There was a space just enough between the cars where I didn't hit anybody, don't know how that happened, but I flew up over a curb and hit a tree. I missed the, um, I hit, if I would have hit the tree, I, I hit the tree with enough force to bounce back off of the tree. And, um, That day sucked. I remember the first thing that person, that, that guy said whenever he ran out of the storage place, he said, are you okay? And I was like, yeah, this sucks. <laughs> I said, my day could be worse. It, it really did suck. And I, I have the scar, I still have a um, scar. Yeah, you can see it, but that's where the um, airbag deployed. And I will forever have that. Got me right there and right here. Yeah, it just sucked because that car was paid off. <laughs> I was okay. I was perfectly fine, but I miss that little car. I loved that little car. My 06 white Mustang, but I ended up with this beast over here. Insert new car here. Um, I really liked it. And I know it seems redundant that I got another Mustang, but I'm a Mustang person. Drive them, I don't drive them crazy, so I, I guess everything just hit, I hit everything so perfectly in that if I would have, if my car would have gone, if police and everybody said if I would have hit any other way, I would have been dead. Uh, and I remember thinking, well, this is it. Whenever I started hydroplaning, I'm like, I'm just gonna close my eyes and hang on to the steering wheel. And I did. And I was, next thing I knew I was, I hit a tree, so yeah, my day could have been worse. And that's what I said to the people in a reservoir. I said it could have been much worse. And I kind of cried a little bit. I think I cried about my car because I missed my car. <laughs> um, so, and I'm going to paste that over this. Mm -hmm. Did I ever fall asleep in a bathtub? No. I have been close to it. I used to read in the bathtub. I still do occasionally. Light some candles, read a book, drink a Diet Coke, eat some Taco Bell, have a ramen noodle bath bomb. Those are always wonderful. You, you should try ramen noodle bath bombs sometimes. They're great. Just drop a pack of ramen noodles in there and open the little seasoning and eat it. How long can I breathe underwater? I am a fish. I am not, not literally not one of these fish. Not that or, or this or that or this or this. that same fish that I've Anyway, this was your requested video. I hope this, even though I look bad, I'm sorry. This is kind of my second time trying to film this. I wanted to make it a little bit better and a little bit funner. Um, lighting situation might be a little bit better. Um, sorry, I have to film them after work and kind of late, so. Please subscribe and comment down below. Um, I upload new my my main videos every wednesday to thursday and then i kind of do the I'll, I'll i might do some weird videos um throughout the week but you can always count on me having a video out on wednesday or thursday around there just, just kind of depends on whenever i'm you know editing and doing stuff like that but i normally try to crank them out and have some pretty funny, good quality ones. So, y'all have a good night.